I have a story to tell. I was going to talk about Clarence Thomas, and I was going to talk about the Tiger Woods, um, Rory McIlroy commercial, which oh, I'll yeah. just say is wonderful. Mm-hmm. I've seen it. It's wonderful. But I want to tell the story first, and I, I probably won't take all that amount of time. When I was in Florida recently, one of the things that I did was I rented a car um, because we went into the Fort Lauderdale Airport, and we had to go to Palm Beach Gardens to go to the PGA National Resort, and it's a distance of about... 60 miles, mm. and so I rented a car. And I wanted to have a car. I didn't want to be dependent on shuttle buses and sure. stuff like that. So I rented a car, and I rented a car at Enterprise. I'm sorry, I'd pay a lot to see you on one of those airport shuttle buses. I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'd pay a so lot. So I rented a car from Enterprise, <laughs> and the conditions under which I rented the car I thought were quite simple. I was going to rent this car, and I was going to drop the car off at the Bell Stand at the PGA National Resort. One of the reasons I rented from Enterprise was because they would, the hotel would receive Enterprise cars. Mm -hmm. Not Hertz cars, not Avis cars, but Enterprise cars. Seems to make sense so far. Rented the big new Volvo. uh, Is that a mom car, by the way? Sure. Okay, so uh, Tori looked at my car that I want to buy and just said it's a mom car. Put a cow catcher on it (laughs) and start driving through Bethesda like the rest of the moms. Well, that was... It's not like not like Chico's, I goes re- buy some ah, really bad clothes with a stretchy ah, waistband. You it's are not awesome. not like I remember this word for word, but I think I do. <laughs> kind of seared in your brain, isn't it? So anyway, so he was I, hopefully thought I said mob at first. M O B. No, it was mom. She said. So uh, so I rent this car and we use the car for six days, and um, we're going to leave on Saturday morning. I have a car service to take me back to the airport Saturday morning. I get Mm -hmm. that done. And on Friday night at about 8 o'clock, my son and I drive over from where we were in the cottages area. Mm -hmm. We drive over to the main lodge of the PGA National Resort, and I go to the guy at the bell stand, and Mm -hmm. I say, I'm going to return this car. He says, no problem, fine. And I give him the keys. That's it. That's the last thing I do. Mm -hmm. I've returned. Seems neat, clean. I've returned the car. On... That was December 28th. On January 10th or 11th, what's today, the 15th? On January 10th or 11th, there's a phone call that a message left to my house. This is so-and-so from Enterprise. We're wondering about the car you rented. It seems a little bit overdue, and we're wondering, (gasps) you know, what, where the car is. Oh, my gosh. So now I'm looking at (laughs) $80,000. I don't know uh, where the car is. So I call back, and of course I call back after hours. Of course. I, you know, it, it's always after <laughs> well, hours. Course. It doesn't matter when you call. We're it's open always, from 2 to 3 in the afternoon. It's <laughs> always, and then you can't get us because <laughs> right, we're at lunch. Right. <laughs> I call back. I get somebody on the after hours desk, and I say that Teresa had called or something like that. And I say, look, this is exactly what happened. This is exactly what I did. And she's okay. Sounds, sounds great. Sounds fine. Thank you. That's July, uh, January 10th or 11th. Mm-hmm. Last night I get home on the 14th of January, and there's a call from Justine oh, of Enterprise with the same <gasps> circumstance. Where's our car? Where's our car? We don't have a car. I call back. It's after hours. There's nothing I can do. I will call back today. The most the car can be worth is about forty grand. I don't really want to write a check out for it's forty rental, grand yeah. without the car. Do we think the car was stolen? I handed the car in. I didn't get paperwork after I handed it in because it's Did a resort. Did you hand it to somebody with a nice little vest on and a name tag? Yes. Or was it yes. just some random person? No. Yeah. Handed it in. Uh, Ted. You're Ted. I don't know what happened. <laughs> wow. I don't know what happened. I don't know. I, I think there's some creepy Tony Kornheiser stalker out there <laughs> who knew you were about the resort mm. and pretended to be the person... And stole this Volvo, which is a pretty yeah. nice car. At about and is now driving it around, on. soaking in all the Tony Kornheiser. Two words: in chop it. shop. I, I, you know, like, and I don't, you know, I have the original paperwork from when I rented it. But so they didn't give you anything what, when you turned the keys. I didn't in. ask for anything. Mm. Just dropped the keys and said, "All right, I'm wow. done." Mm. Do you know why I did that? No, I'm not. I'm because not it's a resort. <laughs> yeah, no, no. I'm, because it's not like I'm not thing. dropping it off at the Burger King. <laughs> right. It's a resort. Right, like, here's the they tell me this. I say uh, we're supposed to drive. To, yeah, no problem. Seems it's a resort. You're paying a, a lot of money it's to stay there. Ferris Bueller situation. Oh yeah. <laughs> 
just oh, yeah. driving around Chicago in your car. What is my? You're not a lawyer, you but you know the lawyers. Resort. No, I watch this stuff on TV. You've got to call the resort <laughs> because you know they've got security cameras everywhere. You know what uh, time you dropped I off do know and what to time. whom you handed the keys. That is on video. There you go. It's in, right in the main area. Yeah, yeah. Totally, drive totally oh, yeah. on video. It's a good point. We have it. It's good. I do that immediately. Yes. And I'd have Abby Lowell make the call for yeah. you. <laughs> And I would have Abby Lowell call the concierge of the hotel. What's my liability here? Well, I know I know the the guy who, who helped us is Chris Berry at the PJ National Resort, and I, I haven't called him yet because I'm uh, honestly I'm flabbergasted by this. Yeah, yeah that's, that's awesome. awesome. I mean, really? Yeah, I, I, the reason I rented this car specifically mm-hmm. was to drop it off at this place specifically. I'm guessing somebody from Enterprises will be listening or is listening to this show mm-hmm. and is probably panicking right now making phone calls. I think exactly. we'll get this straightened out, yeah, but I'm I'd sure, be fascinated. I'm they sure it's parked in a corner at the, at the, uh, the resort or something You know like where that. It's, it honestly could be? Honestly? It could be for a month you know, right on the ground, sure. just sort of sitting there. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Sure. But this is the second time I have wanted to leave. I've left it once, talked to a live body, and now there's now I get another. Fo- I thought it was certainly going to be found, and if they want to charge me per diem rates, I'm going to probably say, "Well, hold on a second. No, no, no. I did what you wanted you, exactly. me to do. Yes, I did exactly. that." I think and they may say, this. "Well, do you have proof of that?" And then I have a problem because. But I, you do have proof. I promise you, this is on camera. And you th- how long do they save tapes? For That's a, a good question. What if they I only wouldn't... save tapes for like a week? Probably no, a I month. bet it's more than that. Probably a month. Yeah. Yeah. All right, go do it immediately. And well, they're never there. Oh, no, that's true. No, no, the hotel will have it on tape. Call the hotel and see if they have it on tape. There might be other things they had on tape that I wouldn't <laughs> have, <them laughs> have on tape. No, but I dropped it off with my son, so that's like uh. there's no trouble there. I dropped it off. Yeah. Nice car. It was a nice car. Which kind was it? The sort of big SUV Volvo. Nice. Uh, the oh, kind yeah. that you felt good about driving, but now that you're driving the small Volvo I, I don't and you're like upset, it as much. You're upset because yeah. you feel like, my son, my son friend's Jimmy calls the old one the Hindenburg because it's just ginormous. <laughs> right. And I loved I loved driving the Hindenburg. This one, downtown. this was pretty big. It does yeah. have the Hindenburg. Was it a mom it car? Well. Yeah, it didn't go so well. For no, the Hindenburg. SUV. Oh, no, I, not a mom car. But you Lots think the SRX, you think the, the Cadillac <laughs> SRX is a mom car? I know that's a mom car. <laughs> it's, it's, you know, I, I'm doing this because <laughs> I like you. I have to tell you that there are very few things as deflating as a woman looking at you and basically saying you have no masculinity ah, whatsoever. Because right. I like I like the car. Uh, Didn't I, I tell like... you to get an Audi, which is very hot and very manly and, and very sexy? Get the Audi. And they have a nice SUV. But the reason I don't want to get the Audi is because I'm working for Jim oh, Coleman Auto.com. Okay. Okay, sorry. And of all of these cars that you choose from, the Cadillac, the Toyota, <laughs> the Scion, the Honda, the Infiniti, the Jaguar, and the Land Rover... I failed to see the word Audi in those. <laughs> so now I'm going to try the. I'm going to try Range Rover. I'm going to try. I'm going to. I'm going to have a Range Rover and see if I, the Range, Range Rover Rovers. Evoke. Yeah. The Evoke E V O Q U E. This isn't that big. Not the this big doesn't one. seem real big. You should try the big one just to see what it feels like. Well, I drove. I don't want to get in something as big as like a Suburban or something. Just I don't want anything that big. big. I don't. I, I didn't I didn't like those Hummers when they were on the road. I thought they should not they should have been banned. I Did thought, you ever drive a Hummer though? No, they're just too, really fun to drive. Really, but too big. Like minus Do you need them in Georgetown. That's my minus, minus five gallons. You know, to the, <laughs> to the mile. Well, that's <laughs> unbelievable. That, that's mile what I'm there. afraid of. And I also, I mean, I used to make fun of people driving Range Rovers who were in places like Florida, where right. there didn't seem to be. Any, be any difficult terrain? That Just don't put the climb. cow catcher on the front. You're okay. I don't. No, I don't want the cow. You told me to put it on the SRX. I think she was teasing. Just toying with you. Go to Chico's. <laughs> Buy clunky jewelry and big pants. Get in touch with my feminine side. We will take a break. We will come back with some news. This is the Tony Kornheiser Show on ESPN 980. It's Paul McCartney. And John Lennon and the rest of the Beatles. And this is Baby, You Can Drive My Car. <laughs> it's pretty pathetic. Uh, clearly anyone can. Yeah. <laughs> it's almost a month. I'm, I'm not happy about this now because I think the liability is going to be mine. And I don't want that to be the case. I really don't. What? I don't think it is, Tom. But why did they wait a month? 
Yeah, it seems uh, well, strange. They, 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 they uh, probably after... figured that I just was driving the car around Florida. Usually they call you within two or three days if you have yeah. to drive. This was a long time. Yeah. Let me, let me reset something that I talked about yesterday. Uh, and that was my experience with Enterprise Rent-A-Car in Florida, which was turning from good to bad yesterday. I uh, rented a car at the Fort Lauderdale Airport on the 22nd of December. I returned it to the PGA National Resort in Palm Beach Gardens, Florida, about 50 or 60 miles north of the Fort Lauderdale Airport, on Friday evening around 8 o'clock with my son on December 28th. So we were leaving the next morning, and we had a car service to pick us up the next morning. I did exactly what I was told to do. I handed the car in at the, you know, right at the main area there, gave the keys to one of the bellmen and said, I'm returning the car. The mistake I made was not getting paperwork to take home, but I didn't really think I needed it. Because the reason that we used an Enterprise car was because I could return it right there. Mm -hmm. Didn't have to take it off property or anything like that. On January 11th, I got a call or a message from somebody in Fort Lauderdale saying, you still haven't returned your car, uh, and we wonder how long you want to keep it. I tried very hard to reach those people, but they're never open. Or when they are open, the person who called you is never there and takes you an hour. You know, when they give you a phone number, it's their main phone number. So it's just, really? Maddening. Got another call two days ago on the 14th of January. Now, I I then left a message with a live body saying, this is exactly what I did. I don't know why you don't have the car, but I did this. And then I was advised yesterday by Tori upon receipt of my second phone call from Enterprise telling me I had not returned the car. Uh, to immediately call the hotel because they will have surveillance tapes and they'll be able to prove everything that I did. I did something better than that. I called Tina Pagano at ESPN because Tina is spectacular. And Tina had helped me in renting the car. I called Tina. I explained the whole story. She said, let me get on it. Don't worry about it. She called me back later yesterday and said, this is before I listened to my messages at home, she called because I was looking at a lot of money here. I mean, I had rented yeah. this yeah. for six days, not thirty days. Not to mention liability when you learn that it's been part of a like, oh, it's crime. It's spree. on blocks and Coral <laughs> yeah. Gables right now. Well, Tina Probably called a human me back head in the trunk. Tina called me back and said that there was evidence, a timestamp of some sort, that I had turned it in exactly when I said I had turned it in, and it had been sitting as I suspected. In a parking lot at the PJ National Resort for three weeks. I've been sitting there. What Tina said is sometimes this happens because there's maybe no room in another place to bring the car back. So they choose to leave the car there. But every single day, I had been told, every single day since I had left there, Enterprise had been in that area for one reason or another. So I get home last night and there's a phone call, either from a Justine or a Teresa. I've forgotten the name. It's a message. And it says, you know, uh, we have come, we, we found the car, uh, we have located your car, and we have a final record and we have a final bill. Uh, and you may, you know, h- how do you want to settle this? The final bill is $2,778. Mm. Let me repeat that for people getting the podcast Whoa. late. $2,778. Not at eighty nine ninety nine a day, it isn't. No. <laughs> $2,778. Now, I felt... That even though I'm in that uh, the tax bracket that drives Obama and his friends crazy, I felt that that was a lot of money for six days. Yeah. $2,778. And I was about to go insane. It'd be a lot for your hotel room. Yeah. I, I was about to go, no, not for a hotel room. Easy. Well, easy. Six days? Well, we were Christmas week. Oh, yeah. Christmas week in Florida. So you figure it's going to be jacked up. And I understand that. I'm still, I'm saying that's still like $900 a day. Yeah, it's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, no, it isn't. But well, whatever. Let's move forward. Is, no, it isn't. So you're not good at math. I got a calculator. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> anyway, so now before I went crazy, there were, you know, when you get home and it says you have X amount of messages and you have to go through all the messages, that was message one. Message two was Nigel, and there was still two more. When I got to message four, it was the same person saying, oh, okay, you know, I've been advised that, you know, that we're going to revise this. And so we're going to knock off $2,100 or $2,000. Anyway, I'm going to pay about 650 to $700, which seemed perfectly reasonable to me. For, for a week. six yeah. days. Yeah, yeah, I had a big Volvo. It was okay. So, that, so it, it, it appears to be settled 
you know, I'm so happy. And, and Tina Pagano, of course, did that. What you're looking at me? Go ahead. Well, no, I was just going to say, can you can you take it a step further and be like, you've caused me angst, and now I think you guys trouble damages. No. Yeah, I mean, I could, but what, what, to what end? Right. Honestly, yeah. to what end? You got I mean, stuff to do. Doesn't make any sense. All right. Here comes Tony's mailbag. Gotta read some for all you folks. Nice job, Gary. Are we sponsored, Thanks. Nigel? We are indeed, Mr. Tony. Brought to you by Mervis Diamond and Port Wisdom. Nobody pays for you anymore. So why should you? From Tim Vanderwall in Chicago. Is it safe to assume your big NHL season preview show is on Friday? I'll set the DVR for News Channel 8. No, uh, it's in the third hour with Hoda and Kathy Lake. And it's the third <laughs> hour today. From Bill Isaacson, who's in Toronto at the moment. Maybe this will give you some comfort on your rental car situation. Shortly before New Year's, my father-in-law, after a long and productive life, passed away. We were visiting my family in St. Louis at the time. Needed to get to Louisville, where my wife's family is based. I went to the local enterprise rental car location, rented a car, told them I would drop it off in Louisville about four hours away, and paid the rate and a drop-off fee. We made the drive. I dropped the car off with the Enterprise in Louisville. Sean Griffith of Louisville must know the place. It is the one on Bardstown Road, as littles communicate with each other <laughs> through the magic of radio. No one at Enterprise in Louisville asked me who I was or where I came from when I dropped the car off, which I sort of liked. Even better, Enterprise in St. Louis called me the next day and asked me where I had left their car. I really like Enterprise. They appear to have no idea where their cars may be found, <laughs> and no one throughout my experience offered me any apple slices. <laughs> Josh Trommel, Moselle, Mississippi. If you're still looking for your rental car, I'd suggest checking the Walmart parking lot next to the stadium where the national championship game was played. Mark Schofield in Washington, D.C. Thanks for the Volvo. Love how it rides and gets great gas mileage. Please don't read my name on the air, given the grand theft auto implications and all. Here's a haiku for my next car. Um, from Shad, Prowling Bethesda. Mom car with cow catcher seeks parking at Chico's. Is Chico's terrible? It's terrible. I mean, yeah, the Tories I've, seem well, to think I, it's terrible. I will not go in there. I like their commercials. It's the Moo woman Moo seems happy. City. If you have given up completely, really, enter Chico. The woman seems so happy in her jeans and her little blouse. Elastic waistbands and moo-moos. Rich Barajas in El Paso, Texas. Podcast are just catching up with Tuesday show. Any chance the Enterprise representative you left the keys to the rental car with was an attractive yet sickly looking Hawaiian woman? <laughs> <laughs> Kevin Simowitz in Portland, Maine. I just heard about your trouble returning your rental car to the folks at Enterprise, but by my count, it's only three weeks overdue. Any chance you could convince them that they're podcasters? If that doesn't work, I can I suggest you confess that it's a K-A-T-V-C-O-O-T-T -T situation. Keys at the valet, car out of town. You better hope that Enterprise locates the vehicle before someone in the home office discovers the 15 minutes you and the gang spent discussing marijuana earlier this week. No way are they going to believe you. I left it at the bell stand story, Grandpa. And please don't read my name on the air. I don't want them to hold me as an accomplice. If you're out on your bike tonight, everybody, as always, do wear white. You can get out there in your ridiculous Chinzano shirt yeah. and your hideous with your fat thigh tight bicycle <laughs> shorts.